Hi everyone, Ace here. I hope everyone's okay and is well. This is the second part. This is Music Wars Empire. Bear in mind, this is never going to see another update. It might do, but it'll be shadowed. And again, I want it updated so badly. I'm not doing it to be nasty. This game has so much potential. It's unreal. And I don't want to see this game just go. Because I think, put it this way, if I was a game developer and I knew how to even make a game let alone a button symbol even like i don't know like a little old aces game like ping pong or something or alien invasion i would jump on this the amount of money anyone can make from this is nuts um i get it's very confusing with the amount of stuff but i think if this game got the proper attention like a whole span of a year to just add stuff oh it'd be amazing so, what I like about this, so there's some things I actually don't like, and where the hell is my band? Oh, there they are. Um, so, at the minute, I am owning Butterflies, She Harmony, and Dynasty Kane. Um, poor band. It should have been bigger than what it was, but when you've got an egomaniac twat, it's very hard to succeed. But I do like Danny Kane. Not against them with the whole shitty thing going on. But, yeah, I wanted to give them a good career. And they've actually got a decent career. So, we'll look into Danny Kane's discography. So, I like how it looks. It's a neat look. But there's no Africa. Now, I was saying to my friends when I'm doing the mods with, I couldn't understand why Africa wasn't in the game when this came out. Because, realistically, you've got some African artists like Tiwa Savage, Shay Shay. Both London... I think they're both... Yeah, the British. African. So, technically, there were Londoners that made it big in Africa, but I don't think it blew up as much until this game was out. Now, Music Wars Rebirth, uh, Rockstar, not Rebirth, Music Wars Rockstar has Africa. So, my guess is this was going to get Africa in. But it is fair. Oh, another thing that um, Road Success does that this doesn't do is that charts albums, but you can't have, like, album tracks, whereas this doesn't. So, again, there needs to be a balance of, in the game, how it's going to work. So, i.e., if you're in 20... When streaming comes in, maybe that maybe you can set it when album tracks can chart. Um, but what I love about this is you can do a live album, you can do a DVD, which you can't do on... Road to Success. I think it was planned. I would also like to see charity songs. Again, it is more a UK thing than it is, I think, US. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but we do charity with children in need and Red Nose. Uh, children in need and Comic Relief. Um, but I think children in need is the one that we get the most charity songs for. And I think Comic Relief has had it as well. Um, so I'd like to see that in any of these booking games. Um, another thing that I like about it is i think the charts are fair i've got rid of all the images i just don't like the idea of having real worlds of fictional you've got a music video chart oh now with road to success i forgot to show it so i might do another part just to add it in um is you can do lyric videos behind the scenes video but once you've done it you can't actually do a video it's really annoying and none of them get it right and i i like the touring aspect but there's something about this touring that I like more, and it isn't set list. But let me show you what I mean. So when you're booking a tour, I love when you're making a set list. And this is something that Road Success doesn't have, is it has, like, what album it's off. So if I want to do an album, and I've done, like, an art, and this is one thing I don't like about the game, I want it to do a genre. So if I want to work with a producer or a record label that's an r and big, and I'm a pop band, I am a big girl group fan. Um, by the way, um, I want to be able to work with them, but the whole album genre is going to be R&B. Even though I'm a pop band, I can work in that realm. But I like the fact that you can think, yeah, um, go for greatest hits, EP, um, mixtape. Re See, I like the fact that these are in, that these aren't in. So remix single, promo single, which is basically buzz, mixtape, compilation, the on it. Now, what I'm not a fan of this game is greatest hits actually don't 
is it this one or Road to Success? I think it's Road to Success. It doesn't record the music. It's weird. Um, it's like the music means not... I don't think it's these. Let me double check. Is it She Harmony? I'm just checking where I've done it. But I've done a greatest hit, and I swear to God it was a bug, and it really bothered me. Um, I think I had to do a compilation in the end. Um, yeah, because in one of them, I can't remember which game it was, but I did a greatest hit, and literally there was no songs in there. I think it was Road to Success. There was no songs in it. So it really bothered me. It might have been this, but I can't remember. It was one or the other, but that was an issue that I had. But I do hope that is... Again, this isn't getting updated, so bear in mind, this is more for other games that might come out that need ideas. Um, the one thing they never get right is legs. So you can't book legs for the tour. So if I want to do a world tour, I want to do massive legs. I'd also like to be able to record an album while doing a tour. Because obviously with the Spice World Tour back in 98, they were working on the second album while touring. Um also, again, you don't do any band lineup changes. Well, you can, but it's hard to get them back. Um, even when you go into a mod, when you go into your editor. Now, this editor is fabulous. So, this editor is good when works. Um, but it's not a bad editor. Um, and it's not a bad game. Again, this is beta 1.42. I think it's the newest, the last one that was out. Now you got your labels. My label will be fictional. My mod, sorry, will be fictional. So that is important to remember. They will have bits of like RCA and that in them, but it's not going to be called it. Um, but yeah, that's my own record that I made the picture. So yeah, I like the idea more. I also like, and I hope these new games get it, is when you hire staff, you can hire them. And this is also in Road to Success. So say I've got a massive list of artists... And I, want, I can't cope with all of them. So the AI will sign some people and work with them. So while I'm working on, say, She Harmony, they will deal with Danny Kane and Butterflies, whereas I can just deal with them. So that's what it means with bands managed by staff and they're managed by me. So, yeah, it's not a bad game, but it's not the best game. And I think it's a shame because I think this game has massive, massive potential. And it's so sad that it just dies. And... Music Wars Rebirth 2 is good, um, but that died and then this happened and then it went on Steam and then it went really bad. Such a shame because, again, it's got potential. I'm not knocking it because this game has potential. It is so addictive and fun. And that's so yeah. I will be showing you the Reddit page of Chart, Royal, Chart Wars Rebuilt in a minute. I will also link the Facebook page for Road Success as well because I want to help these games get more eyes on them because the, 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 put it this way I'd argue and say this is more popular than wrestling in a sense because we all listen to music not everyone watches wrestling so and to be able to control a label and the one thing both these games don't have a death so it's very I, I, I can understand why because again it's up to the person that makes it I understand it but death does add a bit more realism to it. It could be an illness. It could be like... Because with wrestling games, they have drug overdoses and stuff like that. But yeah. And also another thing that's not in these games is... um, What's the word I'm thinking of? Like, so there's nothing that can affect at all. So you can't have a member that's ill. You can't have a concert date be cancelled. You can't have a concert be postponed. Like Nicki Minaj yesterday in Manchester. Um... And stuff like that. So, and it's ironic because Nicki Minaj and Girls Aloud were in Manchester at the same. Well, they would have been, and it's so such a cause that was being such a good collab. Um, but yeah, it's so hard that like again reunions aren't in, so that can affect it. But yeah, overall though, not a bad game. Just a shame it's getting left, and the potential is there. That's my problem with this game. If this game had Africa. And it had optional like streaming and stuff like that. This game would be the best game. But I can't call it the best because it's so little problems. So it's funny. I think that and Road to Success are even at the minute. Now with the sequel to Road to Success, I think it has got so much more to give. I will be doing a video on what I want to see more of in the sequel that isn't in the, the first game. 
and that will be on Steam, so bear that in mind. The first road success is a free game. So yeah, I just want to make that clear. Um, so yeah, but it's a good game, and the potential's there, but because of the pro- Now, it's got a good mod, I so that's the one issue I've got, is the mod is really good. It just doesn't allow certain, like, apostrophes or nothing, but that's something Road Success doesn't do either, and that's not exactly a good thing either. So, yeah, that's quite annoying. But, mm. but I do think this game is good, and it's a shame. I do play it now and again, but I think when Charles Wars comes out and Road Success 2, I probably will never touch it. So, yeah, that's the sad thing. But, yeah, I will be back in a minute, and I will then show you... Um, Chart Wars rebuilds and where I think this is going to be the best or one of the best of Wib Road Success 2. Um, one of the best of all time. So, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Hello, everyone. AC and I hope everyone's okay and is doing well. Um, today I'm doing something a bit differently um, because I'm not going to have any time this week to discuss music simulators. A little bit different to wrestling, but at the end of the day, I love booking simulators, whether it's wrestling, music, whatever. I'm more into text type because it's just easier to do. Um, but I do also like other stuff, like there's movie ones, which I might cover in the future at some point. Um, but today I'm going to cover Road to Success, Music Wars Empire, and a new booking game, which I've got no thing of but I do know what it's called, and I will be putting all the links in these for the bottom. Um, so, music booking games are very different to wrestling, where wrestling you can find thousands of them. Well, maybe not thousands, but a good, I'd say about maybe nine to eight book wrestling games are out there. There's one MMA one. Um, which is World of Mixed Martial Arts. There's three of the match. Oh no, four. There's f- oh no, five. Five um, thingy ones. There's, I think, five or six total extreme wrestling with maybe three of them on sale now, like to buy. Um, and the only music ones, sadly, are Road Success and Music Wars Empire. Both have pros and cons. And the one thing I will say is. And I'm just going to be flat out, as much as I like Music Wars Empire, and I think the potential was there, it is not getting any more updates. The beta is okay to play with. It's very jarry. There's times mods might not work. So I will say, if you're going to buy it, beware of that. It's not getting any more updates. Road Success is, and that is a paid game. So I think it's like £15. $14.99, $14.99, I think. I'm not sure what the price is now, but it's either £15 or £10, but I'm not sure. Um, let me double check, because I don't want to... Um, I don't want to... Um, miscalculate anyone. Music Wars Empire. So £11 it is. Um, I would say, if you want to buy it, to try it, buy it, but... It's not getting any more updates, so it's about you as the consumer. I personally would hold off and wait, but this video today is to talk about these two games and the future one, which I think could benefit from some of these features that could make this game more exciting. And Road Success is getting a sequel. It is coming to Steam. It's all on Facebook. I will link it down below for you to find out. Otherwise, you, you wouldn't know it's out there or it's getting done. Last news we had on it was in November 2023, and then it went silent. And that is kind of the thing that I'm not a fan of any of these booking games doing. I just think it's really... Again, I get you, they've got lives and that, but I think as a consumer, when this is such a niche market, but it's so popular, because we all listen to music, whatever genre, we all like music. So, yeah, that's where I have the problem with it so that's that but i'm not knocking any developers in this please don't send any maliciousness to them um it is a shame music wars empire has been dumped but it has got an ios app which 
I don't dislike, but I prefer these type of apps, and I do wish it continues because I think the potential is there. Road Success is a free game. That is on the website. I can link it, but I have heard people can't download it. So what I might do is link it, and then when the new game comes out, I will Steam. I'll put the Steam link in then, and I will put the third game at the bottom because that is Chart Wars Rebuild. It will rebuild. So basically, it's a complete rework of Chart Wars, and I will show that. I'm not going to show the Reddit post, but I will pin it in the bottom. But I am hoping this can help that game, as well as, um, what's it called? Road to Success 2. Um, and I will do something on what I want to see in Road to Success 2, because I think this game has massive potential. So this is Road to Success, for people that don't know. So I've got a label. Um, so this game is bugged. In what way? Um, eventually stuff do start showing duplicates. It doesn't at the minute. But bearing in mind, I haven't been going that long. Um, let me just look on this. I did have a girl group and they did. And this game isn't getting any more updates, unfortunately. So that's something that you're going to have to like, make a decision. I would wait on the sequel. But at the same time... If Chart Wars comes out first, I get that because I think the potential is there. The dev is super nice. Do you know, weirdly, all of them are nice devs. None of them are bad. It's just that Music Wars, it made no point because it wasn't getting updates. Um, Road Success, he does listen, but he's busy. Chart Wars, very helpful and very reciprocated. It reciprocated everything I wanted to know back. So, for example, what I love about this game that, um, say, another game doesn't have is you can, well, I can't at the minute, but say I've got a song, ooh, let me go to my bands, I'll go to the song database, and say, for example, I can sell a song, and if someone picks it up, which they don't really pick up in this game much, so bear that in mind, but you will make money off it, but I don't think it's programmed properly. Um, so yeah, that's a bit bug, but I like the idea of selling the song. Um, but it doesn't have remixes or anything like that. So if I was to produce a song, I have to like write different versions of the song to make it a remix and that. Not a fan of it, but again, it is getting an update. Also, the charts are super buggy. I don't like how, and this really bothers me, that when you're, say, number one in the UK, if you're a UK pop band or boy band or girl group or whatever... You should not be charting all over Europe. Like, it's not realistic unless you've had that exposure. But I do like how, and I know a lot of people don't like this and I can understand it, but I don't mind it. You do have the X Factor and you do have Eurovision. Now, the downside is you can't enter to be in any of these, so it doesn't benefit me at all. I could pick them up, that's about it. Um, and... You've got all this stuff that you can buy them. Like, you can buy stuff for them, so you can book a show, request breakup. Now, this is one thing I want to say that really bothers me, is as soon as you break this band up, or you boot someone out of a group, and this goes for Music Wars as well, you cannot put them back together. So there's no 20th anniversary reunion. There's not, and they may as well not have done a band. So that is something that I'm praying Chart Wars will fix and work on. So there's that. Um, you've got relationships. It's this is a good game. I think if you're looking at what I'd recommend playing is this because it has Africa in it, whereas Music Wars doesn't. And I'll get into that in a minute when I cover it. Um, but overall, this isn't a bad game. It does come with the real world at the beginning. Bearing in mind, this isn't a paid game. So when it comes out, when the sequel comes out, they'll have to do a fictional mod. For legal reasons. Um, and you get offers as well. So I've been offered with an endorsement. Hi everyone, AC. And I hope I'm doing okay so well for the final part. Um, so this is Chart Wars Rebuilt. I am so excited for this game. As soon as I seen it, I 
absolutely squealed and nearly cried with excitement. We have been begging for one of these games for years, especially if you're in a music sim game and you get news and something happens. Because again, these people are people, they have real lives, stuff happens, we get it, I'm not knocking them for it. But when, so Road to Success was very open that his servers were hacked, and it was because he came onto Facebook, um, and last time he posted was November 2023, and he's been silent, but he has done that before, so I'm not looking at it as it's never coming out. Music Wars, we got an update the other day saying it stopped updates, which I was like, gutted, but at the end there I was like, oh. But I was annoyed because the radio thing wasn't in, which it was promised to be put back in. So I was kind of low-key pissed, but every cloud has a silver lining. So this is Chart Wars Rebuilt. Now, I will be pushing this like no other. Meepot16 is the creator, one of the nicest people, by the way, who I've spoke to. Again, all the devs are really nice. And that even goes for the wrestling games, like Pro Wrestling Sim, Ring Executive. Nice devs listen. They don't not listen to you, they listen to feedback and take it in. So what I like about it is he actually has given us a weekly update. So actually, let me read the thing. So with the nod to classic me Chart Wars and Chart Wars 3, Chart Wars Rebuilt is a spiritual successor that takes everything people loved about the original games and modernises them. Music management type sim games are few and far between. in between, hence what I was saying before. They are very hard to come by, but they are very addictive. The goal with this game is to start creating an immersive experience for starting and running your own record label in today's music industry. Mm. While the originals were great, I'd like to deliver something that's a more than a nostalgic trip, the idea is to add depth, realism and a live and breathe and game world to the formula. From humble beginnings to scouting and signing talent to release albums, organising tours, managing personnel, Chart Wars Rebuilt offers players the chance to build their own music empire from the ground up it is being currently developed. Yay! So excited! And here's me commenting. Um, so yeah, I am very excited. Like, this is just... Like, let me see if I can get some pictures. So here's one of them. I actually think it's kind of cute um, that it's got this. This is very similar to Wrestling Manager 2023 style of type, which I'm not complaining. That it was a good game. It had some flaws, but it wasn't the worst game. It just was... In the end, it became barely unplayable, so then that was a problem. So, like, if you look at it, it's got that. Then we've got Artist Details, which I'm praying we can mod with pictures. I think we can mod it. I think there will be an editor. This is just very early, so keep that in mind. So you've got three albums, three albums left. 100 of fans per album. 5% royalty rate, solo artist. Obviously, I, I, I just... Oh, I can't wait. Um... Pixel art. Kind of, they're actually really cute. I like the nostalgic of it and I like the fact that it's so simple. But when we can mod it, it'll probably we'll be able to add some more stuff as well. But I like the pixel art, it's not that bad. Um network screen. So these are shows that you can scout, scouts. Ooh, like um, in-game calendar. Now, I'm really excited for this because this is actually really fun because we haven't actually got any of this in the others. Well, we've got an activity calendar in Music Wars and Chart Wars, I think, has one. Of, not Chart Wars. Road to Success, I think, does have one. So I'm not sure, but, yeah, low-key, like, the excitement for this, like, is the early screenshots. Like, oh, I actually like that screenshot. Like, it's given me very much... Road Success meets Music Wars, but it's a little bit more neater. And I'm imagining there's more when you click home. But again, it's early. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, so that is my thing on the three button games that I am excited for. Now the sequel to Road Success I am really excited for, Road Success 2. I will link the Facebook down in my, car in my description. So that you can look at it, because I don't want people... Because people who like the game don't even realise it's a sequel. So if I can give these games a bit of love, 
maybe it gives Music Wars Empire a bit of a kick to get it done. Um, who knows? That'd be kind of ironic, wouldn't it? Like a random YouTuber that's come back every two weeks, three weeks. And he's like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. So that'd be nice. But yeah, who knows? But yeah, that is it for today, everyone. But um, I hope everyone's okay and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!